over the moon. It was good. Until a certain character got introduced. Over the Moon is a movie made by Pearl Studio, which actually branched off from DreamWorks, if I can recall. It's about a Chinese girl who grows up basing her life off of the legend of Chana, and she is also a huge science geek. Her father's faith in Chana is waning, so she decides to build a rocket to the moon in order to obtain proof that Chana exists. If you're not a fan of musicals and you're very critical of movies, I'm sorry, but there is nothing I can recommend here. If you're a fan of musicals, but only when they are good, you can watch this if you want to. From here on out, there will be spoilers. Oh yeah, and uh, Philip Yasu raps in this movie. Getting into the movie itself, it has amazing visuals. Well, maybe not amazing. I don't really like the colorful designs of the moon characters, but look at the character designs and the 2D animation and the Technicolor lions and Lunaria and especially that scene where Chana reunites with her love. It looks like it's been done in 2D, but I know it's been done in 3D. Like, see what I mean? This film is amazing. Visually, that is. This is one of those cases where the film has more enjoyable visuals rather than an enjoyable story, cough, cough, wink, wink. There were moments when I was intrigued by the story and was even put in the emotional vicinity, but the one thing that kept me from being fully invested in the story was just the realization of how forced it is. Let me clarify, once Gilby showed up, the whole film just came crashing down for me. They forced Gobi in without any prior introduction or foreshadowing. They forced an emotional connection between Gobi and Feifei. Despite how they could have easily done better with Chin's subplot, they decided to give him little screen time. They forced minuscule connections between Feifei and Chin. They rushed Chana's character development, and even though the transition to the final act was phenomenal, the final act is just one elongated musical number in which Feifei and Chana give each other therapy, which is extremely anticlimactic. In fact, it got to a point where the story was so boring, rushed, and forced that I could not find any significant connection between Feifei and Chana like they were implying. Also, where did the gift come from? It was just hiding in the stepmother's mooncake. And speaking of the stepmother, I loved her character, and I wish we got more of her. I wish we got more of Chin. I wish we got a proper reunion between Chin and Feifei. I wish Gobi was introduced much earlier in the film. It does attempt to communicate a message about grief and losing loved ones and keeping the memories alive while still being able to love, but this message gets muddled in the execution due to literally everything I just said. Overall, this movie is pretty good. I love the visuals, I like the voice acting, I like the musical numbers, I like the entirety of the beginning, I like the final ending scene, I like Chana's dance, I like the rap battle, but there is a whole lot in this movie that just feels a little too forced. But I can believe that people cried while watching this movie, though it tries really hard to be a tearjerker, to which it is not very good at doing that. Coco. Over the Moon is like a shadow of this film, and it really shows. If you haven't seen this, what are you doing with your life? The Willoughbys, a story about four kids trying to murder their abusive parents. Steven Universe the movie. I recommend that you just watch it by itself, but if you want to watch the series first, by all means, go ahead. The Breadwinner. I've never seen it, but it's made by the same people who are making Wolfwalkers, so it has to be good. Even my sister thinks it's good. A whisker away. I've already reviewed this movie and it is phenomenal. I should have put a minor spoiler warning on it. Your Name or Kimi no Nawa. I haven't seen it, but it looks gorgeous. Silent Voice. I haven't seen it, but it looks depressing. If you haven't seen any of these movies, uh, go check them out. I haven't seen all of them, so I'll check them out. And uh, yeah, that's it.